What's going on everyone? We're in Los Angeles, meet up with my guy Matt Mead. I want to give a shout out real quick to 777 Exotic. He's got a nice little car. Uh, but the real reason we're here is to link up with this dude, Mr. Low Key Man. Mr. I don't want to share my secrets with nobody, man. Nobody, son. <laughs> Follow me. Oh, yeah. So come on, man. Tell me what you do. What do you guys do? Tell In you. short, what's your elevator? Tell you pitch? what I do. Yes, epic data. Hmm. What's the elevator pitch? We build behavioral data algorithms that monitor the online shopping behavior of consumers to narrow the audience and make it to where they don't have to spend as much money in the wrong places and focus all their ad budget on things they're gonna actually have a propensity to develop or deliver back a return on their investment. Done. It'll be three years this fall. Since the relaunch, yeah, correct. Yep. Relaunch. So we had an association, an affiliate company that uh, Epic was an exclusive back-end provider for about 18 months. I divested my interest in that company and we moved on. That was about 30 months ago, and in 30 months, uh, we relaunched. We service over a thousand automotive dealership clients. Um, we service some of the largest agencies in the industry, and we've done. Well, you know, what do you think you'll do this year in revenue? I won't get into specifics, but we'll we'll do north of 20 million dollars this yeah. year. Besides social media, besides helping you brand, um, first of all, that is the connection in this relationship. Sure. If social media didn't, didn't exist, we wouldn't be together. Sure. Now, me being 24, uh, him being all this, all this, a little bit longer, you know, on the journey and um, more results, more experience. These are the type of people that I'm trying to get around in that sure. it's becoming a reality, you know? Yeah, Getting absolutely. around guys like you, um, it's rare that most people, they probably won't even connect with someone in your stature, right? Sure. And I think if you're 18, if you're 20, if you're 30, if you're 40, your main focus should simply be getting around people who are ahead of you and who have exactly what you want. What does he have? He has a great family, he has a great home, he has a great business, and he's got a great personality, he's a great dude. And that's someone that I look at and say, what is he doing? How is he doing it? How can I be like that in my own way, of course? How can I see what he's doing and take the advice he's gonna give me to then live it through my own life? Um, and it's just, it's awesome to be out here, man. So, good having you out here. I'm gonna do some really, really great things. This is our sixth trip to Los Angeles. Uh, I've been coming out here for about two years now, a little over two years. We've met some amazing people. We've had some great partnerships. Um, and every time we've come here, we've invested into the person, the individual, the team, the company that we intend to meet out here um, and that we intend to level up with, right? Because I think there's a good balance of lifestyle marketing and living, you know, the, the lifestyle and renting the houses on Airbnb and driving the nice cars and then investing into your partnerships, into the networking, and I think they kind of go hand in hand. Um, I think when you're building a brand online, you gotta, you gotta know and understand that you're marketing to people, you're trying to connect with people, sell, uh, partner up with, whatever it is, strictly through the internet, right? So how can this person come to you of influence, right? Maybe someone ahead of you, maybe someone above you, someone doing uh, better than you, they're further along the journey. Those are people that I'm looking for, right? And it's who you should be looking for too. 
but how could you build their trust to know who you are and how could you get their attention you know for someone of interest to you to want to sit down and talk with you and I think this kind of loops in right uh, this lifestyle marketing and I don't even think it's lifestyle marketing I think it's just being able to travel um, and mold your business around that but of course this house if you want to show I mean is this much for just four people for a few nights up in the Hollywood Hills I mean it's a beautiful house it's modern the Hollywood sign is right there you have the Hollywood sign the lake and the city is this necessary no but is it something that we can do and should do yes I think for one reason uh, it's good to reward yourself right I want to do what's best for the group right what's most fun what's gonna keep the people around me motivated to want to live this lifestyle one day um, which isn't far away right if you really can just take your life where you're at make the most of it uh, be positive put out you know intentful content with positivity good energy advice teachings uh, lessons you've learned um, and then obviously you know make the background and setting and and everything around you as nice as possible and for us you know this is where we're at this is um, what's great for us we mix uh, business and friendship uh, and at the same time we know when to do business and, and when to be friends so it's been a great trip out here um, I think that you know overextending a little bit has always made me want to work harder right so paying 2200 for two nights to rent this house um, some would say that's a lot of money some would say it's not a lot of money but you know it's it's just a little bit to that next level of it makes me a little uncomfortable I want to do this it's good for me it's great for dream building envisioning feeling it possessing it I'm all about that stuff and uh, it's actually something that we spoke heavily on with Jessica Mead just attraction in her her thoughts on it philosophies and her outlook on the attraction part you know of business and just winning in life man she crushed it like she crushed it and just within 24 hours we've been able to see so many things just be brought into reality that were just once an idea this was just once an idea to be able to travel meet great people have great experiences with people that are grinding the same purpose as me just to blow up this company this team impact people and uh, and do better but it all starts with a personal brand it all starts with you know proving that you have the success not showing off but proving and uh, I think when you do that right you'll start to get attention to people that you're wanting to connect with